Lance Collins was recognized as a leader from the day he arrived at Cornell in 2002. He excelled as director of the Sibley School of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering and for the past 10 years has been one of the greatest deans in the history of Cornell's College of Engineering. As an advisor and as a boss, he's been just phenomenal. Uh, when I think of someone who leads by example, he truly embodies that. Lance and I started as deans at Cornell University at exactly the same time, July 1st, 2010. We went through a lot of adventures together, from creating a new budget model for the university to developing a new minor in business for the engineering students. Such a joy to work with Lance, so deliberative, so thoughtful, and yet with such a great sense of humor. It's been a pleasure getting to know Lance and working with him as a fellow dean. He's always so uh, authentic, collegial, and thoughtful, uh, and he cares deeply about Cornell. Lance uh, is my mentor. Uh, I continue to go to him for advice. His personality is such that um, uh, I, it makes him a perfect administrator. One of the things that I came to appreciate the most about Lance is that he wants to take on the really hard, really challenging things. Um, uh, and be very thoughtful about it. So, uh, you know, a great example is Cornell Tech. Lance played a critical role in just forming the ideas behind Cornell Tech with, along with Dan Huttenlocker and others. Without Lance's leadership and participation in the Cornell Tech proposal and then the subsequent development of Cornell Tech, there would be no Cornell Tech. Uh, not many people recognized how important Lance was in the conception and the proposal that ended up winning Cornell's Cornell Tech um, competition in New York City. Lance has been absolutely transformative for biomedical engineering and I can't thank him enough for what he's done. He directed Pete and Nancy Meinig towards biomedical engineering and ultimately towards making the naming gift for biomedical engineering. Without Lance's support that never would have happened and that gift has been really, really transformative for biomedical engineering and allowed us to grow, allowed us to hire faculty. Lance has been, over the past 10 years, a true champion of entrepreneurship, which at Cornell is a little bit of a challenge because entrepreneurship is scattered about throughout the university. I think Lance Collins has had an enormous um, impact in the way we look at entrepreneurship here at Cornell. One of the more exciting programs that I was able to help grow with Lance Collins was the PhD Commercialization uh, Fellows Program. Another great legacy for mechanical and aerospace engineering is the brand new Upson Hall, uh, developed and, and built during Lance's tenure. Um, it's now, you know, we've gone from kind of an old 60s, 50s style building to what has got to be one of the finest uh, facilities for mechanical and aerospace engineering in the country. I think what was probably most impactful when we began working together was it was clear that diversity was critically important to Lance, and he gave my office and my unit the support um, and the leadership and the advocacy really to go out and do entrepreneurial work in the enrollment space around diversity for the College of Engineering. Lance has been an amazing dean for the College of Engineering. His leadership on diversity, critical to any academic endeavor, 
both at the faculty level and at the student level, have been exemplary. Lance's impact in the College of Engineering is historic and advances the legacy of excellence at Cornell. One historic achievement is in the composition of Cornell engineers. Lance's thoughtful and intentional leadership gave wings to our shared accomplishment of increasing the number of women in the college to 50% and doubling the number of underrepresented minorities. Our Cornell engineers are flourishing, both women and men. To put this in broader perspective, Lance's advancement of excellence surpasses Cornell. It's global. As the co-president of the Society of Women Engineers at Cornell, we're extremely proud to be a part of diversity programs in engineering, as well as the College of Engineering as a whole. We're really thankful to Dean Collins for making initiatives to reach gender parity within the College of Engineering such a priority, and we're proud to have taken part in reaching this milestone. Uh, back in 2012, Lance instituted what's called the Strategic Oversight Committee. And the idea of this committee was not to tell the faculty search committees who to hire, but instead to change the culture of hiring in the College of Engineering. In doing so, he laid out three basic ideas. First, that we're going to accept that we all have biases, so search committees go to search bi uh, bias training. Uh, second, that we are um, going to make sure that we're going to search broadly, so when they come back from this training, they're going to uh, search in a, for a diverse talent pool. And lastly, putting these diverse talent pools in front of uh, star faculty sometimes you're going to land on women and underrepresented minorities. And so he set forth this plan in the SOC, and eight years later, in 2020, we are at over 20% of the population being women. I think this, the culture has changed significantly, and now, uh, as he's stepping down and moving on, I think it will continue. Another great example is the work that he did here in New York on the L train. I mean, he is now a savior across New York uh, because of that work that he did with uh, Columbia and, and the governor. Um, and the governor just loves Lance, of course, uh, because of that work. Lance Collins has transformed engineering at Cornell and elevated its visibility around the country and around the world. He has excelled at long-range planning and fundraising, and has developed a strategy for making Cornell Engineering one of the very best in the country. I've really uh, enjoyed working with Lance. He is a tremendous leader. He uh, is very balanced and measured in how he goes about all of the things on his plate. He has a great vision and uh, strives for excellence, but is very human in, in his interactions with the people around him. He always tried to make it so that, you know, I was still his number one priority. I was still, you know, his daughter, his, you know, he would always try to make time for me outside of work, and he was working a lot. And um, he really made sure to put family first, which is tough in this industry. Lance, uh, congratulations on 10 strong years of leadership in the college. Thank you for all you've done for me um, personally. So I just want to say that Lance has been a tremendous uh, role model, leader, and, and mentor and friend to me. I look forward to a continued friendship in the future. Hey, Lance. It's such a pleasure and honor to be able to thank you and honor you for your 10 years of unbelievably strong service. I want to thank you for the great work we did together, most of it your thinking, as we planned Cornell Tech and did so many other things together when I was at Cornell University. Lance, wish you all the best. We'll miss working with you, but hopefully we'll continue to see you around campus and around town. I want to wish you all the very best with your new endeavor. Stay well, and I look forward to the day when our paths may cross again. Lance, I am personally grateful for your advice, counsel to me, as well as the Engineering Alumni Association Board, and above that, your fantastic support to the nearly 60,000 engineering alumni worldwide. 
Hi, Dad. <laughs> I just wanted to say to you that I am extremely proud of you for what you've done. I know that this is not an easy job, and I just want to say I really, really appreciate and love you. Thank you. Thank you.